Welcome to this edition of the news bulletin. In the headlines today, sale Rorkela steel plant sets several benchmarks in production and productivity in fiscal 2017-18. A culture of mutual appreciation will take RSP to greater heights, say CEO RSP. Twenty shift in charges of Rorkela steel plant awarded for exemplary work. Now the news in detail. By setting several benchmarks in the field of production and productivity sale, Rorkela Steel Plant has turned the corner in the year 2017-18. In all the three major production areas, viz. hot metal, crude steel and saleable steel, RSP has registered its best ever performance since inception. The total dispatch has also been an all-time high. With the production of 3.32 million tons of hot metal, the plant has registered a robust growth of about 7.3% over the previous fiscal. The total crude steel as well as total saleable steel production has also improved by 9.8% and 7.2% respectively. Some units that have performed outstandingly well are new plate mill producer of high value plates that recorded a whopping growth of 48.1% over the year 2016-17. It is worth mentioning here that the new plate mill exported about 1,27,000 tons of CE marked plates to the European market thereby creating a niche for itself in the international steel firmament. The around 60 year old hot strip mill set its all time high record of making 16.8 lakh tons of HR coils during the year which is a rise of 7.7% over 2016-17. Producer of another high value product spiral welded pipe plant recorded a stupendous growth of 26.7% while production of galvanized sheets witnessed an improvement of 6.3%. All this remarkable performance have led to a significant increase of 8.4% in the dispatch of total saleable steel. Some other star performer units are the Center Plant 3, which created the best single day production record 12 times in the year, while the ore bedding and blending plant dispatched more than 9 million tons of raw material during the year. Traffic and raw material department reduced the wagon turnaround time sub substantially, thereby adding to the bottom line significantly. The coke oven battery 6 registered its all-time high performance during the year, while the special plate plant recorded best ever dispatch of plates for use in the defense sector. The engineering shops developed tailor-made spares and components worth about Rs. 123 crores by using in-house resources that helped in quick stabilization of the modernized units. Another area in which RSP performed exceedingly well is the techno-economic parameters. At 410 kg per ton of hot metal, the coke rate achieved in the blast furnaces is not only the best ever since inception figure, but is also one of the major positive contributors to the financial performance of the plant. Significantly, improvement has also been achieved in other important parameters like specific energy consumption, coal to hot metal ratio, pulverized coal dust injection, specific refractory consumption and specific water consumption etc. In the field of sales of secondary product, products too, RSP recorded an impressive figure of about Rs 1577 crores. Apart from improving production, productivity and techno-economics, what made the crucial difference are the proactive strategies adopted in tune with the customer demands. Some of the key interventions put in place were fine-tuning of the product mix, development of new products, addressing customer concerns in an aggressive way, 
stress on quality at every stage right from the raw material to finished product, close monitoring of dispatch schedules. While the technological interventions played a huge role in the stupendous of the steel plant, what provided the cutting edge was the positive mindset of the collective. As Mr. Ashwini Kumar, CEO RSP, reiterated during his address on the occasion of the annual performance review, the self-belief of the team RSP has resulted in the steel plant crossing new frontiers in every field of endeavour. All these endeavors of RSP Collective have led to the steel plant registering an EBI DTA earnings before interest, tax, depreciation and amortization turnover ratio of about 15% in Q3 of last fiscal after a gap of 10 quarters which is an encouraging figure by industry standards. The momentum continued in the Q4 of the fiscal, thereby making H2 of the year 2017-18 watershed period for Orkila steel plant. Better inter-unit as well as intra-unit synchronization and a culture of mutual appreciation will take RSP to greater heights, said Mr. Ashwini Kumar, CEO of Orkila steel plant, RSP, while addressing the inaugural session of a new HR initiative, Arohan, the ascent launched at HRD Center on 3rd April. The basic objective of this initiative is to strengthen the managerial competence of the participants, enable them to proactively take up challenging roles and develop better strategic thinking in line with the organizational goals. Reposing faith in the, in the capability of RSP Collective, the CEO stated that the plant is doing well on all fronts. However, the target of achieving zero breakdown is still eluding the collective. Giving a thrust on achieving further improvement in the work culture, Mr. Ashwini Kumar urged the participants to develop a positive attitude. Always ask yourself the question, why not, whenever there is a doubt, he added. He also emphasized on the need for bringing about freedom of decision making and exploring new avenues of improvement. Discussing about issues like maintenance and spare part availability, Mr. Kumar stressed on the need for root cause analysis. Immaculate Planning and Coordination Mr. P.K. Pradhan, EDPNA and Mr. Rajiv Agarwal, ED Projects also shared the dice with CEO, several general managers, heads of departments, senior officers of the plant and participants were also present on the occasion. At the outset, Dr. Sumit Datta, GMHRD, delivered the welcome address and spoke about the objective of the program, while Mr. Sagar Mohanty, DGMC PTI, proposed a formal vote of thanks. The two-day program would focus on dynamics of steel industry along with business environment and challenges, customer requirement, vendor development, optimum utilization of human resources and leadership, traits based on emotional intelligence, decision-making, responsibility and accountability. It is, it is noteworthy that the program will be organized twice a month. 20 shift in charges of Rorkila Steel Plant RSP were awarded the Performance Excellence Award in shift in charges in recognition of their exemplary leadership and outstanding work done by them towards achieving improvement in production, maintenance, services, cost, quality, industrial relations and safety. Mr. Subendra Das, CD Works, presented the awards to them in the annual performance review and award function organized at Gopabandhu Auditorium on 1st April. The winners are Mr. Dilip Kumar Maharana, Assistant Manager, Co Covens, Mr. Radhendra Kumar Tiwari, Assistant Manager, OBBP Operation, Mr. Sarada Prasanna Barik, Assistant Manager, Blast Furnaces Mechanical, Mr. Sachinda Nanda Rao, Deputy Manager, Steel Melting Shop 1 Mechanical, Mr. Utpal Das, Manager, Steel Melting Shop 2 Operation, Mr. Bakun Nath Naik, Deputy Manager, Pipe Plant Electrical, Mr. Pravas Chandra Swai, Deputy Manager, Silicon Steel Mill Operation, Mr. Damodar Rao, Assistant Manager, Shops Mechanical, Mr. Ramesh Chandra Panigrahi, Assistant Manager, Traffic and Raw Materials, Mr. Samir Kumar Swai, Deputy Manager, Town Engineering, Water Supply, Town, Mr. S. K. Bhanjadeo, Senior Operative, Blast Furnaces Operation, Mr. Bar Singar Eka, Senior Technician, Refractories, Mr. Dabendra Sahu, SOST, Sintering Plant 3, Mr. Susanta Kumar Behra, Assistant Roller, Hot Strip Mill Operation, Mr. Umesh Chandra Dhal, Senior Technician, New Plate Mill Mechanical, Mr. 
चंद्र हसाया साहू सीनियर टेक्नीशियन प्लेट मिल मैकेनिकल मिस्टर शत्रुघ्न पंडा सीनियर टेक्नीशियन रिपेयर शॉप इलेक्ट्रिकल मिस्टर पार्था बीरा बेहरा सीनियर टेक्नीशियन एनर्जी मैनेजमेंट मिस्टर सुशांत कुमार दलाई सीनियर टेक्नीशियन रिसर्च एंड कंट्रोल लेबोरेटरी एंड सिस्टर विर्जिनिया टेटे सीनियर नर्सिंग सिस्टर मेडिकल their bodies received a cash award of rupees 5500 along with a certificate of appreciation notably the shift in charges who have been relentlessly spearheading the campaign to enhance production productivity and improve techno economic parameters of the plant have been, have contributed immensely to make rsp as the best performing unit amongst all plants of sale under the continuous motivation and guidance of mr ashwini kumar ceo rsp A special announcement: Admissions to Class One, Two, Three, Four, Five, Six open in Spat English Medium School, Sector Twenty. The last date for selling of registration form worth rupees hundred is for is eleventh April. The forms would be made available between seven a.m. to eleven a.m. The last date and time for submission and registration form is thirteenth April between seven a.m. to eleven a.m. The selection list would be displayed in the school notice board on thirteenth April at eleven a.m. The date and time for admission is on sixteenth April between nine a.m. to eleven a.m. For classes one, two, three, four, five, and six, children of sale, NSPCS, CISF, state government, central government, stationed at Rorkela are eligible to apply. For further information, Mr. A K Samantrai, Principal, Ispath English Medium School, Sector Twenty, can be contacted at mobile number double eight nine double five zero one zero eight nine. The other numbers are double eight nine double five zero one zero nine eight and double eight nine double five zero one zero nine four. That's all for the news today. Namaskar.